This is an exercise for root choice at orange level. As a course setter for an exercise like this, you want to make sure that the control sites are not too hard. And if the control sites are kind of small features, like maybe this range is a little bit small, you just make sure that the control flag is placed on top and is, is really obvious from all directions. And likewise here, just make sure the control flag is out in the open and not caught up in any undergrowth because you don't want the orienteers to waste time finding the controls. This exercise is about discussing the difference in the safety and the confidence that different route choices can give you. So the kind of thought process that you want to set up for the orienteers is some kind of leg that has some wide options. So there's this track and fence all the way around the bottom here. One route to get it to the control. You've also got this fence line up here to get in. And you've got ways that a more confident orienteer can use to get to the control in a, a straighter way. And it's not really about which is the right way, but it's about knowing which way is better for different people and in different situations and why that is the case. So just being able to say that one way is faster because you did it as a group and uh, some people ran or everyone who went one way was faster than everyone who went another way. Isn't that useful if you don't know which characteristics of that leg made it better? Because when you're identifying a route in a race, and you want to know which way is likely to be better or worse before you actually run the leg, you need to know which features have actually helped you in your training exercises and which ones haven't, you, haven't helped you. So the kind of things you'd like to hear from someone who's done this leg is things like, well, this route following the fence around to the north gave me a lot of confidence and I could run quite fast because I felt safe. And I followed the fence down here, but then I was quite unsure about the slope because there wasn't a really safe handrail, but I could use my compass, but because I was a bit unsure, I was going slower in this part of the leg, but then I was confident again and the approach was really easy in from the north. And maybe you hear someone go another way and say, well, I saw that there was this big climb, this big hill here, and I wanted to avoid that. So I chose this track route, which had a faster running surface, and I didn't have to go up many contours. In fact, I got maybe the one contour there, and then you've got one contour, two contours there, another contour there, another one there, and you've got three contours there at the end, compared to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen contours required to go uh, that way. So that's the kind of stuff that shows the orienteer has understood the challenge of the root choice exercises, what what is fastest at the best of times and what gives me the most confidence at the worst of times.